No means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? Look, look, no means no. No, that means no, all right? But no, stop it, what are you doing? Oh my God. You're being so bad, stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me, so I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people, right? But then, then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Ah, oh, your honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. Yeah, and you just sit me like, she didn't fucking say it like that. She didn't say it like that. Yeah. So now everybody's just like scared shitless. You know, because I guess if women ran the world, there'd be no war. Evidently, there'd be no due process either. So you just gotta sit there going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> No, it's fucking nuts. People are so scared now, you now have, you have the male feminist. Like where the fuck did that come from? Just out of nowhere, last couple years. I'm a male feminist. Uh, I've always championed women. No, you haven't. You haven't. This shit came out and you're fucking scared. You did something. You grabbed some fucking titties. What the fuck did you do that you have to overcorrect that fucking hog? What kind of a man who still has his balls is walking around saying that he's a male feminist? Uh, I'm a male feminist. I totally see the way you see the fucking world. It's, it's impossible as a man who was raised right. <laughs> You can't do it, you're a man. Look, you, you, you can agree with it, you can empathize, sympathy, you can do all of that shit, but you can't be it any more than I can stand here and just be like, I'm a Black Panther, fight the power. <laughs> and then I walk out the door, a blue-eyed white dude, and I get to live that fucking life, right? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, ladies, I don't buy it. Maybe, maybe you do, I don't. Anytime I hear a guy say I'm a male feminist, I always just think that is the most pathetic, limp dick way ever to try and get some pussy, right? Like that's literally, that is literally the fucking game you had when you were on a first date when you were 16, you all nervous and your whole game plan was just agree with her, maybe she'll touch it. <laughs> so what are your favorite bands? I like whatever you like. Will you touch it now? Did I do it right? Uh. Yeah, it's a weird time right now. I'm glad that I'm fucking, you know, married now. I don't gotta fucking deal with any of that shit, you know? Younger guys, I don't know. How do you deal with it? Like, you know what was really fucked up in all of this now? Is, is what about women who like it rough, right? That doesn't happen here in the jolly old England, right? Not at all. Everybody gets all dead silent. Big fucking elephant in the fucking room, right? Yeah. How the fuck do you, what's that? Ask for consent. Ask for consent? Doesn't that take the mood? Well, Jesus, that kind of took it in a weird way. <laughs> Dude, whatever the fuck I was saying, however you heard it, that's not what the fuck I'm saying, all right? <laughs> you know, I really listened to this Me Too movement. I think I'm, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna ask for consent. <laughs> I'm really gonna do it this time. I've been feeling... This is why you can't judge comedians. Do you understand this? Do you understand what the fuck I was saying and how this fucking jackass just heard it? You know? The second... Yeah. The second it comes out of my mouth, it's not what I said anymore. It goes into your fucking ear hole and gets cut with your whole fucking childhood. Oh, this is what he means. <laughs> Sir, if I could get along with my point, if you wouldn't mind that. No, like fucking women who like it rough. Like, that's gotta be so fucking weird. <laughs> I remember when I was a single man a long time ago, a lot of hair ago, right? Still wasn't a good look, but I was single. I was out there taking some at-bats. I remember that shit. You meet a woman, and when it started going down that road, like you knew you were gonna hook up, what you tried to do, you tried to get a jump on it, right? You tried to figure out what they liked in the bedroom because you wanted to satisfy them because there's nothing worse than if you don't satisfy them. And you know they're gonna tell all their friends, and then you gotta fucking move, and now there's social media, you got a fucking nickname. It's, it's a nightmare. So you just try to, you know, you try to do, you know, a little fucking intelligence, you know? You'd be sitting there hanging out, just being like, yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, what are you, uh, what are you into? What do you, uh, what do you like to do, right? One night I asked this woman that, she set her drink down, she looked me right in the eye, she's like, I like to get fucked. <laughs> and I knew 
what she meant. I was like, all right, this is gonna be one of these. Okay, here we go. Just trying to, we're gonna have to go hard on this one, right? We had a great fucking time. Now, I don't know how I would hit today. I would just be like, all right, I know what you wanna do, but like, you're gonna have to do it. You understand? Like, I'm just gonna stand here and then you just back into me however hard you want. You control how hard you're backing into me. Then I'm gonna lay my hand on your shoulder. You can put your ponytail in it. I will slowly close my hand around it. And at any point you, you, want, you want to yank your head like that, that's on you. My other hand will be just to the right of your right ass cheek. If, if you, you want to do one of those, that's fine. But I am not doing anything. I'm just gonna stand here like a giant fuck stick. And you just, you just have at it. You just have at it. 